So in this guide I'm going to be going over dependencies and conflicts. To get to these tabs we go to project, project settings and then dependencies or conflicts. So why should we use dependencies? Simply put, it helps tell the user that your mod needs the other mod to work. This is then similar to the requirements tab that we normally see on Nexus mods, except this is directly in the mod itself. So what this will do is tell external mod managers, including the in-game mod manager, the user if the mod your mod is dependent on is not installed or not in the mods folder. So to get the mods showing up here, you need them to in your mods folder, so where we normally would install our mods to to play with them in the game. So as you can see, mine is showing improved UI and some of my projects. The projects do show up in this. It's so if you have, say, a framework mod you're making for the rest of your mods, then you can list that mod as a dependency. You might have noticed some mods such as her mods and head mods require improved UI. Now what they could do is then add improved UI as a dependency. So to do that on here, we'd click on the mod that is required, so for in my example, improved UI, to move it to this side. Now it does move some of the other Larian pack folders here, which shouldn't be a problem. Every game installed should have them installed. Okay, save, and now it wants to tell us that we have to load our project again in order for that dependency to also be loaded at the same time. So for example, again with heads and hers, now if I would go into the character creation level, the scrolling on the head section and the her section will go further than it does in vanilla. This is because I've added the improved UI as a dependency. Okay, now on to conflicts. So a little explanation for conflicts. The best time to use these is when another mod would break your mod if in the same load order. And by break, I mean literally break your mod that so, so it doesn't work whatsoever or parts of it are broken because you want users to get the best experience of your mod. So then I would add it as a conflict. This will then tell the user in the mod manager of their choice. Okay, this mod and this mod conflict, please choose between the two. So like dependencies, the mod needs to be in your mods folder, the same folder you put mods in for using in game. So as you can see, there is differences to the dependencies tab. None of the Larian pack folders are in conflicts. This is because you would not want to add them as a conflict. It will cause issues because then packs will always be installed for the user's game. So the ones that do show are the ones in the mods folder. So then if there was a conflict, you would click on it and add it here to this side and then press save. And then when you finish your mod, you would go to properties and publish local or publish if you're publishing to mod IO. So this covers dependencies and conflicts. I hope it does help. Thank you for watching.